All right, today we're gonna start doing some layout to do some graphics on this. I already did some tape work, taped up the trigger, some other areas I don't want tape painted. It's kind of your own personal choice what you do and don't want paint on. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to lay out a cryptic pattern. It'll all depend on how it sits on there. See what we like. Nice thing is you can kind of do it to your own personal taste. So we already took the bolt out, made sure it was clear. And uh, try to figure out how to put the stencil on. It might be kind of hard to tell. There's a pattern mixed in there. A few areas we do and don't want paint on the gun. We've already done a little color fill. So we're gonna try to work around those. As you can see, we've been working on it for a little while. We've got some of the basic layout put in. We're going to leave the black as a base color. Scuffed it down with a scotch brake pad on every order that we're not taped off. We've got our colors here. We're going to put a green and a tan on there. We're going to continue working on this. Once we get it all laid out, we'll come back to show you what the final layout looks like. And then we'll get into uh, getting it painted. Welcome back to the Steel Hand YouTube channel. As you can see, we have now got the graphics on the entire gun. Laid them all out. Took about two hours. Definitely longer than I was expecting. So hopefully the final product comes out very good. Went all the way around. Tried to get it to flow fairly nice. Alright. Because I we got our paint colors, we're going to go out, we're going to put down the tannish color first, do that, and we'll paint the entire thing, that way we make sure there's no spots that are left without color, then after that dries a little bit, we'll go back through in the spots we want, spray a little green, just to kind of change it out a little bit, once it's all said and done, we'll peel the graphics off, and then we'll put a clear on it just to kind of make it all a little bit uniform between the blacks, greens, and browns. All right, I'm gonna come back, show you what it looks like painted up. Well, here it is, all done. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Actually, when I was painting it, I kind of liked it a little bit better without the pattern. But since it was already on there, kind of a little too late at that point to change it up. Did use a satin clear. Instead of a flat, kind of rethinking on that. Should have stuck with the flat. But all in all, not too bad. We'll get to the range, do a little testing, wear and tear, see how this thing holds up. And follow it up after that. Make sure after you're all done, go through and take all the tape out. Don't want any of that left in there.
there you have it. Finished product. All ready to go to the range. Have a little fun. <laughs>